Hello friends, my name is Rahul Gupta and again in the Corporate Insight we are going to discuss a very frequently asked interview question, why are you leaving your current job? Okay, so whenever this question is asked, like we make a so many uh, excuses, so many different things and sometimes we land up in a problem. Okay, so now this video is basically a successful approach that how should we answer this frequently asked question so that you can crack the interview. So that is the effort or that is the thought process to make this interview. So stay tuned till last to get the beautiful insight that how you can answer why are you leaving your current job question in a very very nice manner that can give a long lasting impression to your interviewer. Okay, so let's start. So again, the uh, in the similar format, the first we will discuss what interviewer panel is actually looking for through this question. What is the meaning uh, when they ask this question? The second one is what are the common mistakes like everyone makes. The third one is why interviewer panel ask this question at a first place. And the last one is the secret recipe that has worked for me. Okay. So without wasting a time, let's move on to the first part that what interviewer panel is actually looking for. Okay. Through this question. So now when they asking you, why are you leaving your current job? What they actually mean is, are there any red flags in leaving your current job? Like, do you have a problem with your boss? Do you have a problem with the, your work environment? Like you have been fired or there are so many red flags can happen. They are trying to understand what is the real cause of leaving your current job? What is your thought process? That is the main intention of asking this question. So now let's move on to the second part that is called a common mistake. Now, generally what the people say is okay that in my current organization, I don't have a very good uh, co uh, collaboration with the boss. My boss is very, very terrible. Okay. So if you are saying that you are, you cannot get that job for sure, because please do not do the bad mouthing for your current employer. Never ever. Okay. Even if it is a terrible boss, you should not be telling in the interview. Okay. Obviously. So you can, uh, few people says that, oh my God, current job has too much deadline, too much tight deadlines and I have to stretch even on the weekend, even on the night. Okay. So, but you cannot tell that on the uh, interview because if you are telling on the interview, it shows that you are not accommodative. Okay. And this might happen here also after a few, uh, few days or few months, and then you might leave this organization. The lack of fit with the company culture. So you cannot say that, okay, that cult company culture doesn't fit me. Okay. Or I am not fitting to that company culture. So that kind of, that kind of thought process you should not bring in the interview panel and in front of the interview panel. The fourth one is you cannot right out to say that I have a very poor compensation. I am actually looking for the nice compensation which your company is offering. Okay. So there are other ways to tell, okay, that uh, the same thing, but you should not say very, very directly. Otherwise you can land up in a problem. The next one is the victim of the office politics. There are few people, correct? So they say like, oh my God, office politics is very cruel they, that in that organization. So I don't want to stay here and want to get out. But who knows, it comes here also because this is the thing like you cannot, they will not write in the uh, job description na, that here there is a office politics is very, very bad or there is a very bad office politics here. It will not be. So this when you come and if you find here again, you will leave the organization. Okay. So this is basically like the common mistake. So you should never do these kind of thing. And the last one is you become a brutally honest. Brutally honest means you tell the actual truth. Okay, that okay, this is the problem mistake. Okay, this is the mistake that you that you did. Okay, and because of that, you landed in the problem and that's why you are leaving the organization. So you should not be, you should be honest, but not brutally honest. That is the simple uh, meaning. Now, let's move on to the, uh, what is the thought process which is going on in the employer mind when they ask this question? Okay, what is the thought process? So when we say they are actually looking for, do you have a very good reason to leaving the job? Or like sometimes few, few people say, okay, chalo, try karte hai. Okay, let's try somewhere else. If we get good, then it's okay. okay. So they are actually looking that the, if they are giving the good responsibility to a person, because once you get in, you will be giving a certain responsibility. Are you able to take care? Are you able, are you mature enough to take care of those responsibility? That's what they are trying to check. 
okay so are you running away or pursuing a new opportunity basically okay so let's say there is a some opportunity given or some some sort of a challenge is given in your company and you are basically running away from okay? or you are looking for the new opportunity you are able to handle them very nicely but you are looking slightly bigger or slightly different depending upon your thought process third thing is can you leave situation on a good terms okay can you leave okay your company on a good terms with others okay so let's say you are leaving your company okay that doesn't mean like you will have a fight with your current manager that i am leaving i am i am not going to come here correct so that's what because even though when we are parting we should be parting on a very very good terms because you never know you might come back in the same organization after few years okay because life is a circle who knows so that is also the company is looking for and the last one do you actually value work and have a sense of obligation because that company for which you work they have paid you a very uh, whatever the uh, uh, amount or whatever the salary that they have paid so do you have a sense of obligation do you actually value the work or it is just a money 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 or whatever it is correct so these are the four different thought uh, questions they are actually looking for to prove by this answer now what is your objective to answer these questions okay so by understanding this thought process our life becomes a very very easy so if you answer any of these question you are actually helping your employer to uh, go in the uh, go in the hiring process very very easily okay to connect the dot now so this is what we are trying to uh, learn also so what is the recipe that has worked for me so the recipe we i call is the bridge the gap technique bridge the gap technique what is the bridge the gap technique correct so it's a very very interesting technique okay and if you follow this technique you are going to nail this interview question very very easily so let's understand what is the meaning of this so when we talk about see this is a fantastic uh, our uh, indian uh, jammu and kashmir uh, nice bridge this is the highest bridge in india okay i think recently uh, ministry of uh, um, railway has actually uh, um, broadcasted or or basically uh, put this uh, photo on the internet so i took this is a very nice photo looking fantastic okay so now uh, bridge the gap technique what is the meaning of that let's come back so let's say this is your current employer okay so what you should do you should tell your reason in the least negative way possible that what is the reason you are actually going to leave your current organization but your answer should be in the least negative way possible okay least negative way that is the and then you basically tell about the future employer in which you are applying for that how can your future employer can fulfill that in the most positive way possible so this is a least positive way and this is the most positive way and you will say okay see i am here currently but i see your organization is here and it can take me there so this is why i would like i am leaving my current organization and trying to join this organization this is called a bridge a gap tag so you will tell what is the problem you are also bridging the gap that your organization is going to help me to bridge the gap the the moment you do this bridging of the gap correct you have cracked the interview questions correct you are you have basically earned that kind of okay respect in the interviewer panel i and you are on the top of the list to get hired okay so remember bridge the gap technique now how to do these things okay this is a really challenging task so let's understand how you should so now let's move on to the okay the first thing we call uh, tell your reason okay or about basically the what do you call current employer figure out what is the reason and in the least positive way so how can you do that so let's say uh, if your current work is painfully boring correct you are basically frustrated with your work and then how can you actually tell in the interview you can't say na that my work is ultra boring okay i don't like that at all you should not tell that because if you are telling it shows the negative impression it has to be least negative possible how so you will say i am looking for a new and exciting challenges okay this is a new phrase to tell the same thing basically but it bring out the positivity in your thought process let's say you hate your boss correct this is basically uh, let's say very common problem if you hate your boss how will you say i am looking for the great mentor in the x y z field okay i have this i am from this field okay but i am looking for a very very fantastic mentor in this field which i am unable to find in my current organization okay 
Suppose let's say you didn't get a promotion from a long time, okay, because of any reason and you are looking for a promotion. So how can you say that? I am looking for a better career growth opportunities. That is basically the reason I am applying for your company. That is another way. Then let's say if you are changing for money, okay, let's say you want to change the company for a money, you want more money, then how should you say that I had been with this organization for a number of years, okay, and wanted to experience a new environment for continued growth. So that's the reason I'm applying for your job. Now, this is the one part basically you have told about the current employer. Now, you should also connect that how your future employer will actually help in this, okay. So, uh, you don't want to give the more work to the employer na, to bridge the gap. You can help and then you can get a job. That is the best way to basically uh, nail this interview question. So now let's discuss that in the future employer, how your future employer can fulfill that in the most possible. Okay. So these are the four things that's now we discuss. So I'll tell that how can you answer actually in a very, very crisp and concise manner so that that can connect the bridge. Okay, so for an example, let's say you want to say that I am looking for a new and exciting job. So how can you say that I referred the job description and I see the company vision. Okay, and I foresee that this company can provide these, 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 these challenges for me and I am very much excited for learning about them. That makes it very, very clear that, okay, you are not liking this thing, but you have already done your homework in my company, in basically your future company, and you know these things can help you. So that basically connecting the bridge. Now let's say if you hit your boss and I'm looking for the great mentor in XYZ field you told and then you can say that actually I have lay, I have, I have uh, searched very good mentors. Okay, when I, when I did my research, I found that the very good mentors are there in your current organization. And even I looked about their profile, okay, in the LinkedIn and even in the social media and the company report and I found that they are the very very good mentors in this field and I am basically looking to learn from them. This makes a very very compelling statement that why you are basically looking to uh, join this company. Right? This is a fantastic technique to basically impress your uh, interviewer. Okay. Now the third one is let's say I am looking for a better career prospect or uh, I want to basically, I have been with the organization for a number of years, wanted to experience a new environment for continuing growth. Let's say you would like to connect the bridge for them. So how will you do that? You can say that I did a lot more research on the internet about this company and I found out that this company takes learning and career growths of their people very, very seriously. Okay. And I have seen like a many of the people, when I see uh, their history, they have they have got a very tremendous growth because of the very good mentor in the company. So I find myself to the better place in this journey, in this organization. That's the reason I am quitting my current job and trying to look for the uh, job in your organization. This is the best way to basically bridge the gap between your problem and how this can solve the problem. Now, so again, in summary, uh, like bridge the gap, your current employer, what is the issue? Okay, and how your future employer can fulfill that uh, problem. Okay, so this is how basically you can give very nice and crisp answer for this question. Now let's understand the short answer or the simple answer for this to get you the more thoughts. Okay, so now I will tell basically this is simple answer. Okay, for this question. So let's say you can tell, uh, hello sir, hello ma'am that although I enjoy my current role and responsibility that have been offered to me in my current organization and I have gained the valuable insights, valuable skills and experience working here. Okay. But what I feel like my professional growth as a professional has touched the plateau. Okay. So I am looking to basically accept bigger challenges. Okay. In my professional career so that uh, that can help me to learn and grow further and to basically broaden my knowledge. So this is one of the answer where you are clearly telling that in your current organization, you have a limited scope of growth. But I have seen basically that in your organization, there is a basically possibility. So you can take the road. So I'll tell you the one more sample answer. Okay. So for an example, sample answer number two. So what again you can say, hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Although I had a very, very fantastic time working in my current role and I have learned a lot as well with my peers, with my mentors in my current role. But what is happening? My company is going through some structural change. 
okay and because of that my work scope or my roles and responsibility has slightly narrowed down because of that and I believe that I am not able to utilize my skills and experience till the fullest for the organization and even for my career growth okay but so while I respect the company new direction okay but I think it is a it is a better time for me to move on to the bigger responsibility and I see your organization is act or, or this job position is providing me that bigger responsibility so that's why I would like to leave my current organization and would like to join your organization. So this is a fantastic answer to tell because you are connecting the bridge. Okay, you are connecting the bridge. You should be aware of that. So finally, why are you leaving this? Why are you leaving your current job? What you should do? First, you basically, this is a two-step process. First, tell what is the current reason in your what is the what is the reason you are leaving, leaving your current employer and connect that how your future employer can fulfill that okay the word of caution you should be aware that be honest when telling the reason but not brutally honest don't bring out any uh, that kind of issue that can be problematic for this job application keep your answer very very simple very very short okay do not elaborate too much okay avoid negative about your current employer no negativity of your current employer should be uh, shown in your question you should be positive about your current employer you are living on a very good terms only thing like your uh, your aspirations are different basically and then your current organization and this can fit basically that is the answer. so hope this video would have given you insight so please share this video with your friends so that Whenever they get an interview and they crack the interview, you can earn a very nice party from them. Okay. So if you think like this video has given you insight, please like the, uh, like the, uh, like this video, hit the uh, subscribe button and share as much as you can. Okay. And by this framework, utilize this framework, create your sample answer and put me in the comment box. Okay. And if you need any help in framing your answer, let me know. I will be able to help you put in the comment box and I will be very, very happy to help you. Okay. So thank you. Keep learning. Keep optimizing your strategy through these videos. Thank you.